Hi, my loves. Hi, my loves. This is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. Welcome back to this, your channel. I am so excited that you can join me today and use your valuable time to spend with me. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are doing our seasonal challenges. We are adding to the spooky budget challenge, as well as if we finish our, some of the Christmas challenges, then we will go ahead and add that. I don't think so. I haven't checked my notes but I don't think we are finishing anything today, but that's okay. The good thing is we're adding to it. Today is Saturday, October 12th. It is currently 1030 in the morning. My teenager and my husband cooked breakfast this morning. They had not done that in a while. I mean, together. Um, so that made me really happy. They actually brought breakfast upstairs. So I haven't even gone downstairs at all. And I am like very excited. We are officially on our October break. I need to film and then I need to start packing stuff because I am leaving out of town um, this upcoming week. Well, midweek actually. So I just want to make sure I do film this and maybe Tiny Tuesdays and then um, make sure that I have those two videos to upload for you guys because know that I truly appreciate you that I look at all the comments and that I have been horrible, horrible at not commenting back. But please know that you are in my thoughts, that I do read the comments and I want you to accept my apologies for not commenting back. Again, your comments do help our budget journey so i'm extremely gave, grateful for all the emojis that you give me and for your comments and likes and just obviously you being here and watching this video um i hope you guys are well i hope your budget journey is going well and if you are feeling a little tension about it or you fell back or you had some drawbacks please know that it happens to all of us. Um, I shifted my budget and binder so much this year that at the end of the day, we just have to say, as long as we keep moving forward, doesn't matter what challenge you didn't finish, what binder you didn't continue, what wallet you bought and never used, it's okay. Let's keep moving forward. All right, let's go ahead and start with our money we are using of course this beautiful blinged out bank ba bank bag sorry from or designed by erica from drip by e.com and she's black and blue here on the youtube world uh let's go ahead and count some money and see what we are working with today All right, so we are working with 371. Again, I'm joining so many challenges that that's why the amount is bigger. This is actually the entire month for my husband's paycheck. He gets paid weekly. I get paid monthly. His money serves for our challenges and variable spending, and my check pays all the bills. All right, so that is the amount um, from my husband's paycheck that is going into challenges this week. Oh, and additional 50 for my Tiny Tuesdays, of course. So let's go ahead and bring out the binder. This is the October binder that we are using for seasonal challenges. And we are going towards the back to work on Christmas challenges. That always comes first. So let's pull out the two envelopes. One is from Budget Better Life. The other one is from Star Budgets. So for Budget Better Life, we are adding... $55. Ooh, that sounds really high. So I want to say, let's do 20s. Mm, let's just do 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And I'm going to do a five. I want to say that I scratched them all. So we might be able to finish this one. Let's see. It sounds like a big amount. So it might be right. I might be right. Let's see how much we have here. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Wow. So $100 are in here. Let me double check before I put it back into the envelope. Let's see the challenge. Let's go ahead and move in closer. Let's see. Yeah, 
I did scratch them all off. That's why we did complete this challenge then. You guys, which means we only have one more to go. Oh my goodness. Ding, ding, ding. $100 completed. Today, I'm going to move it to the side for now. So that is awesome. Let's scratch for next week. And let's do, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, this is not going to be next week, but the following, because next week I am on the road and we won't have any Saturday or Sunday video. So we're going to spend that for our trip and this will be for the following week. So I think I'm just going to do half and half so that we're done in October. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do five and then leave five for the following week. Let's go. All right, so we have 13 and five. Actually, let's just get the calculator. Okay, that is 60, oh no, $56. I'm sorry, I couldn't see with the glare. $56, let's do that one more time. 13 plus five plus 15 plus 11 plus 12 equals $56 is correct. And I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Over here on my budget planner, 56 is perfect. I'm very excited. This is literally the last page. So yeah, so far we have saved $910. We have the last page. I'm assuming it'll be 90 because it's a 1K challenge and we will be done. So if we did what, 56? minus 90 equals it seems like this over here will be 34 that's not bad i might just scratch them all no i'll wait i'll wait and i'll do it off camera if i have the budget if not that's okay all right let's move on to star budgets and this is what we have in star budgets so far i really don't think that we are going to finish this challenge today because this one's a little heftier let's go ahead and take a look at it let me open this first before putting it under the camera. We are in October. October. Okay. Let's see. And we are working. On, oh my gosh, you guys. I think we are done today with this one too. <gasps> Hold on. How much do I have to add into this one? Let me look back at my notes. I'm so excited and so anxious right now. It says 136. I think I scratched this one off with you guys and I decided to scratch this off camera. <gasps> you guys, I dropped my pen. I don't know where it flew to, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, wait a minute. That means we are finishing. Oh my goodness. We are going to be done with Star Budgets today. And that was a six month saving for Christmas. And it was from May to October. And we did finish it in October. If we can pull this money out right now. Let's see. On my notes, I have to add 100 something. Let me see. Yes, $136. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We have 100, 20, 30, 5, six i have this dollar so i'm guessing it is good sometimes i doubt myself when i plan 50 100 120 30 35 36 136 and then let's see it should be a total of 200 actually i think i added a dollar extra somewhere but that's okay we'll figure it out right now and we'll put it into challenges if nothing else to 10 Okay, there we go. We have 50, 150, 170, 180, 90, 95, $200. And this dollar can go back into challenges. $200. And now officially, my loves, I get to pull this entire thing out. And we are now 
done with this. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So star budgets. I'm going to put it in here. You guys, I really, please bear with me, okay? I just want to make sure I have what I have for one challenge. Give me one sec. I have to answer a call. I'll be right so back. So sorry. That was my hubby and we needed to, he went to do an oil change. So there's other things that the car needs. Seems like we're going to be spending some money on cars again. So again, we have used cars, so I don't mind it, but that's going to take a toll on our budget again, but that's okay. Um, we have some, I'm hoping that it doesn't go over the amount that we have. If it does, we're going to have to work from there, but that's okay. All right. The first thing I want to do is um, look back at my notes and check and see what I have. I put $100 for challenges and um, 95 for spooky budgets. So this is spooky budgets. I want to make sure I do 95 in here. And I think it's this one because I did 65 last time. We're going to do 95 in here. So let's see. 20, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And we're going to get five, just like so. And we're going to add it in here. I think I feel pretty confident about doing this here. I want to make sure that we are adding to this. Um, I don't know, I feel like I need an emergency fund and I think maybe that's where this is going. I don't know, you guys. I don't like to say it anymore because in reality, we can make as many plans as we want. But the one thing that I noticed is that I, I am a goal-driven person. So I do want to have a goal of completing this challenge. Now, for what purposes, I'm not sure yet. But I know for a fact that at least I'm saving here. And that is a great thing for me always. Like I could say right now, honestly, I wanted it for my daughter's concert situation um she's going to um she had 15 birthday money and that was put into a credit card and then i said i will accumulate after my husband's birthday but life always happens i don't know why i mean obviously it's great to have long-term goals but in reality when things happen we have to pull from it so what i realize right now is that i like completing this type of challenges because it is very I'm very goal driven, right? And I, it's a challenge. It literally is a challenge, which sometimes I forget the meaning of that. It becomes this obs obsessive challenge to me, honestly, and I want to finish it. And once it's completed, then life will tell you what to do with it. You know, it's, it's great, you know, that I have a purpose for it. But in reality, even my Christmas challenges are always emergency. Everything what we do, it's emergency because... In reality, if something happens, that's where it will go to, right? I'm sorry if the sunlight is like here and I just, yeah, I'm using some of the daylight, some of the flat flashlight. Oh my gosh, some of the lighting, but I don't know how well it's coming out because of the laminated and the whole um, glare. Um, but right now, let's check these off. And that should be $95 right there. We did start this one with my self-care binder that is now just tiny Tuesdays. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in as much as I can towards this one. I've already added all the pages and in total we should have 1K when we're done with this. So I think next week the goal is to do this one or the following week I should say because next week we're not saving at all. Um, I want to do 70 here, okay? So we are done with this one. Star budgets. It's coming right out and ding, ding, ding for this $200 challenge. We are putting it away over here. And now the only one that's left is Budget Better Life, which we should be finishing very soon. I think I'll just add the $90 instead of the 30 something that I scratched. Was it 30 something? No, it was 56 because we were so close to 90. So I think we'll see. We'll see what the budget allows for. Let's start with Hocus Pocus. And let's do some scratching. Um, we're not doing that one at all, I don't think. So let's focus on this one right here. Let's move in like this. I don't know. I feel like my angle is not good today. I don't know. 
I do not know. I'm feeling very uncomfortable about this, but I hope you guys can see. Let's do a couple of these. All right, 21, 10, 21 for this one. Oh, sorry, wrong envelope. Let's pour this money out. All right, let's see how much we have here. So far, we have 10, 20, 30. 35 36 37 $38. Awesome. 38 sounds just perfect. Okay, here it is. And these two will save for later or next year. We will see. They will come out sometime. I think I'll just barely have enough time to finish what I have in this binder. Let's see what these gnomes from Mischief Manage give us. Let's see. Okay, that is $12, so we'll do 10, 15, oh no, let's scratch one more and see what happens, my loves, let's do this one. Perfect, that's 12 and 8 will be an exact 20, so I'm going to put the 5 back and add Another 10, so now we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, and this is a total of 60 saves, so it seems like we are on a good spot. Maleficent, we're going to come back to it. Um, let's, let's do one of these, because this is a pretty high one. Let's do one, just because I don't want to leave it all for the last week. Ooh. That's a four. Should I take a risk? Let's take a risk. Oh, 10 bucks. Perfect. This is from Princessa Creations Co. on Ko-Fi. That's 10. Let's grab 10. And now we have a total of 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Not bad. One dollar to be halfway through this challenge. That is awesome. And it does come with this envelope. It's cute. See? Let's go ahead and do. You guys, I went to find this challenge to link it last week. And April and her sister. Oh my gosh, I forgot their names. But Two Sister Bees has now separated and is no longer Two Sister Bees. Um, I try to link one of them in the description box. So yeah, I don't think that they have this specific one. But yeah, let's keep going. And let's do... Let's try and do these three and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to do six dollars. Then the goal says double this one. I'm gonna choose the one digit because I'm using it however I want to, and I'm going to use one. So double one is two. I'm going to save eight dollars total. Let's see how much we have here. Oh my goodness. Hmm. You know what? It is what it is. I'll scratch another one. Eight. Eight plus seven is 15, so that's perfect. We'll do 10 and five. Again, when you have big challenges like this, I really got discouraged and thought maybe I shouldn't do it, 
but I can always add the digits, choose one of the digits, and it works out even though it was meant to be, I, I wanna say it looks like an $100 challenge to be honest. Um, we're still saving, we're still having fun with it because it's beautiful and we are are having a good amount of money here. So let's see, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. That's $40 doing it low budget and that makes me happy. So yeah, and these uh, this envelope actually, I think is from the Budget Nerd Co. if I'm not mistaken. I think it is all right let's go to weekly budgets over here and are we running out of money here yes we have $20 and yeah we still have a ways to go but it's okay not a big deal let's do this one and let's do this bottom one Okay, that is $15 that I need to save. And I'm taking five out and putting 20 for a total of 25 in this Wednesday challenge. Perfect. And we have $5. Let's go back over here. And we're going to do Maleficent from Donna Parr by Creativity. And we are going to do the M probably. Actually, let's do this purple and fix these. And let's do this five. I think that's better. Okay, awesome. I love it. Perfection. So that means now we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars out of a fifty dollar challenge. That is awesome. And we are done with these challenges. So I do want to add a clip here. So the next time we can start with Snake Hair Don't Care from Mari from Budgets and Chaos. And then we didn't do the Happy Mailbox Co. And then this time around or next time around, we will be able to finish this one, I think. I'm pretty darn sure. Let me go ahead and grab a clip. I haven't use these in a while okay let's do this magnetic one right here oh we have the small one too let's do the big one um these are ollie clips and they are on etsy they are some of the best clips that i've found absolutely love them so let's start with this one next time how about that all right my loves well that is all i have for you guys thank you so much for bearing with me sorry for the interruptions and if the videos are not mega quality my apologies i do try to do my very best i hope that you were able to enjoy this that if you have been thinking about starting any of these challenges or um starting a budget this is probably one of the best times to start it you get a hang of it you start finding your groove and then you know for 2025 you can go full on board with like other beautiful challenges because there's so many 2025 ones um, but yeah just start with one um get some freebies i know there are a lot of freebies now out there so you don't even have to purchase them as long as you have access to a printer it'll be awesome and um yeah my apologies, I'm inserting this video. I knew there was something missing. My mind is not here, my loves. I, here's another text. I am very concerned about the car. I, my mind is not here. It's actually all the way to the dealership because my husband went to the Kia dealership to get the oil change, but there's other things going on. So my apologies. I don't wanna leave because guess what? The best part about the video, well, at least for me, is to come into my Christmas challenges, my loves. Did I forget? I sure did. Look at that. We did finish challenges. So come on, Maria. Let's go. We're going to put these into action. Let's reallocate them in here. And yeah, you'll probably see some cut in between my outro and this and my apologies if it seems kind of weird but i did not want to do this off camera because it is so exciting and i hope that you're excited with me about this um we have 
uh, fully funded. A lot of them, I did stockings and I used $100 out of this challenge because um, I went to buy the family pajamas. They had them on Burlington for a really good price and I got like six sets. I bought for my parents and for my family here. So we're six all together. Uh, my two girls, my husband and I, and then I bought it for my parents. Um, for a hundred bucks, I thought that was a steal, so I did buy that. And this was it, this came out of Christmas unplanned or extras, which technically I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think about it. I didn't have them planned. Um, my goal is if I can add more money to this, it would be awesome to have this in December. But if not, it was already used, I still have 50 bucks, it's fine. So it was fully funded and now used. I did track the expense just so that I know. Um, see. And I wish I would have put for what it is. I forget that Miss Donna doesn't have that. I'll probably put pajamas here. Um, let's do that right now because I don't want to forget what I spent this money on. So this is PJs. And we're all going to be matching. That's going to be super cute. All right. So we do have a tracker in here. And that way we know. And then we fully funded Christmas activities, Christmas events, Christmas travel, Christmas feast, Christmas decor, and now we're working on Christmas gifts, which is the highest one. I did snowball it if this is your first time here. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Each Santa Claus is $90. Let's see how much we can add. Wait a minute. We also had some leftover money last time. So let's integrate it into the money for today. Oh, okay. Let's integrate that and let's see how much we can do. How much do we have in total? And then we'll divide it by 90. Give me one sec. All right, let's see how much we have here. 150, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, yes, it's 340 dollars. If I did that wrong, please forgive me. So let's go ahead and do 340 divided by 90 equals. We can fill out three Santas. So 327, of course, times 90 equals 270. So I need 270 for three Santa Claus. 150, 170, 190, 210. 220, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 270. Let me pull out this 10 and grab this 10 right here. So this is 270, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 67, 68, 69, 70 dollars here for our next one. So we are 20 dollars away from our next Santa Claus which we should finish next time. Let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three Santas. And now we have eight of them. So because it's so much fun, I'm going to do this again. For me, it's fun. Eight times 90 equals. I should have 720 right here. No, 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 no. Let's see. Let's check it out. Are you guys excited? I'm so excited right now. Okay. So we have a bunch of tens. And then we have some twenties. Yeah, twenties and fifties. Do you think it's 720? Let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Five. We have 500 right there. So this should be 220. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 60. So that's 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's $600 right here. 600. So now we are down to 
finding out if you have 120 right here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have $720 for gifts. That is mega exciting. So you definitely know that I'm going to need another challenge for this. So I think I'm, I know which one I'm going to bring out and I'm actually going to do it right now. This stays pending. Should I put it in the front instead of there? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it here in the front and I'm just going to do that. Pending for the next Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh wait, hello. <laughs> I still need to add this. Okay. Perfect. That feels so satisfyingly chunky. Okay. So we are done with that. But I want to show you the next Christmas challenge that I want to do. Um, I am going to do one by Maddie from By Distant Chaos. I bought this about a year ago. She came up with this beautiful book. It says Fala La 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 Christmas Savings Challenge Book. And it's so beautiful. I think she still has it. And I wrote down way back then how much I probably will be saving out of this book. So it's definitely a good book to do. We start with Dizzy Elves and it's 18 Envelope Challenge. And so I think this is where I'll start um, next time we do this video. And um, we'll see if we can add some money to these envelopes. It's the same idea as like the 100 Envelope Challenge. Then you have stocking stuffers, roll the 12-sided die, so a 12D. And then look at this one. This one is a Santa's reindeer, scratch and save $210. So individuals, as individual pages, they're really, I think, low-budget friendly challenges. Again, if you want to roll a D6 or a D3, I have D3s as well. Roll a smaller dies. It doesn't have to be a 12D or 12 sided dice. Um, this one too, instead of making it a $5 color and save, like it's intended to be, you can do a $1 color and save. You can do the uh, dice, whatever suits your budget. Um, this one, how cool, it's an $84 one, so many low numbers, absolutely love this one. Um, I think they're very budget friendly. And then this one is ask, this or this i don't want to say either name for a number between 1 and 24 or you can use a d24 i have one so i would just do that and then save that amount so it's technically like the envelope challenge too you save one dollar for one so on and so forth so it's a 300 dollar saving i think i'm going to do this where i add the digits instead to do it low budget and friendly for my budget and then this one is so cool you roll two dice and then you join them so if you get like a two and a three so you join and then you scratch this one so yeah it is beautiful it is perfect and she did integrate envelopes here in the back let me see where do you open these from uh oh oh yeah it's here it is open she had to slice through this which i think it's such a great idea uh i'm probably not going to use that but yeah it has envelopes in the back which i think is so great she integrated with the lamination how cool is that so this takes a lot of work um and dedication and i just absolutely love her challenges so i'm going to start this one next time and that is all i have for you guys let me remove that glare from the light at least at this moment in time thank you so much you guys for being here i appreciate you and now back to my regular outro that's all i have for you guys today if you haven't already can i please ask you to press like to help my budget journey and that of my family as well my husband my girls and i will be extremely grateful if you put or give me uh, your favorite emoji on the comments down below. That helps the YouTube world know that you're interested, that you were here, and it shares it, shares it with the budget community. All right, my loves, thank you, love you, miss you so much. Have a wonderful weekend, a fun, wonderful week whenever you're watching this. I love you, take care, but more than anything, as always, God bless. Bye.